Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you exactly how I loop Neil Young's Heart of Gold. If you've been playing guitar for a little while or your whole life, you know it's a very simple song. It's a very good first song to use for a lesson for the way that I loop. Keep in mind the chords are very simple. It's an E minor, it's a C, it's a D, and it's a G. And you can play the song whether you play harmonica like I do or not. Okay, so uh, before we go too much farther, I want to show you my RC600 close-up and exactly what it is that I'm going to be showing you today. Okay, I think it's important that if I'm going to teach you how to loop this song with the RC600 that I show you exactly what my settings are on this, okay? So I have this set up as a memory slot for each song that I perform often, okay? So this is number 84, this is Heart of Gold, right? And I have a kind of a cool setup here. Many of you have probably done the same but I can scroll through my songs with this cool AB switch from Boss. Okay, so that's what I use that for. Easy to scroll through those 100 memory slots as I perform live. And I have this set up as a four track mixer, okay? Four track recorder, two, three, and four. I know it has six, but I did not really care for having to switch back and forth between the two banks. So I've settled on, uh, on the four tracks with my all start and I'll stop here. And I was going to loops here. Track one, when I record, first of all, I always am in overdub mode, dub mode, okay? I like things to continue to record until I stop them. Uh, it speeds up the process of getting things recorded live, which is very important, of course. Don't want our audiences to get bored. Track one for me is percussion, and it's almost always a single measure, and it is always set to multi-mode because I want that to continue to play throughout the entire song, okay? Track two is two measures, as is track three in this song, and they are both set to single mode because I want to be able to toggle instantly back and forth between the A section and the B section, okay? And um, the fourth track here is my uh, background vocals. I'll do those for you in a minute. I actually have uh, some uh, track effects on here here you can hear these here okay so I've got an EQ on there to kind of cut some low end and add some high end shimmer to it I do have some compression on there as well and then you're gonna hear uh, some uh, reverb on there so those are my track effects only on track number four okay so let's get back out of here I'm gonna show you a couple other things that I think are unique to me so um, you'll see I have a line out, uh, my sub out. It goes directly into my very small Mackie monitor that only I can hear when I perform live. It's simply my click track. I'm not even sure you'll be able to hear this. But it allows me to get my tempos perfect every time. It allows me to sync up my, my, my percussion track every time I have it just right. So I, uh, I highly recommend that you do that unless you're using some sort of in-ear monitor or something like that. Also, you'll see that I have two microphone hookups here, okay? The one you're hearing me talk through right now is my headset mic, and it does not get recorded. So I can sing and loop instrumental tracks at the same time, which really saves a lot of time live. You can, you can be singing and play your guitar prime first time through the verse. You can add your bass the second time, and the second verse you can just add on. So that's very important to me. Plus, I can have my eyes down when I need to and I don't have nearly as many uh, uh, miss hits on the pedals as I used to. And uh, this is my uh, SM58. This is the mic I use for looping uh, my vocals. And what's cool is I can turn that way down so I don't get any ambient noise coming through from the speaker because I have that compression on there which raises the level of that track during the, uh, the recording. So let me grab my guitar and I'm going to loop and show you exactly what I'm recording and when I'm recording it. So track one is going to be a, a guitar part with some added percussion from my RC, uh, or I'm sorry, from my hand sonic, okay? So here we go, something very simple, track one. Shaker. Simple, but effective. Track one. Track two is going to be guitar, bass, and a, a, a shimmer track for my reverb boss pedal. Who's 
that shimmer effect. And the bass line. Turn that up a little bit. Here it comes. Track two is now done. Go to track three. that same shimmer. And a bass line. Track three is now done. I'm going to switch it back over. Track two, I'm going to record my back on vocals to this. flip back and forth between it and of course add my own live performance so that's what I'm gonna do next I hope you stick around and watch the end of this this is me performing heart of gold with that exact track uh, arrangement that you just saw me create except now you see the whole performance okay friends as promised here we go this is Neil Young's heart of gold loop version Keep me 
be searching for a heart of gold. I'm getting old. Searching for a heart of gold. He me searching for a heart of gold. He me searching for a heart of gold. He me searching for a heart of gold. Gotta keep me searching. Keep me searching for a heart of gold. You gotta keep me searching. Keep me searching for a heart of gold. Gotta keep me, keep me searching for a heart of gold. Gotta keep me, keep me searching for a heart of gold. There it is, folks. Neil Young's Heart of Gold Loop version. Thank you very much for tuning in today. This is the first of a long series of videos I'm going to make exactly how to loop my favorite songs. I hope you tune in, find my channel, and I hope you learned something today. Thank you all very much for coming. See you next time.